Hello everyone. Today we are going to study your 9th standard first lesson. The topic name is called sets. Let's start with the introduction. What is a set? A well defined collection of objects is called a set. Students, here I have given some examples. A bunch of keys, a flower vase, a flock of birds. These all considered as set. Let us take two examples. First, days in a week. Second, happy people in our town. In first example, we know the objects clearly and we can decide whether it belongs to the given group. In the second example, the term happy people is a relative term. A may be happy for B, but he may not be so by C. Since it is not well defined, we cannot consider it as a set. That means, if I will ask you to tell days in a week, you can clearly define and tell me the count. But happy people depends on person to person and it also depends on the situation. Consider the following examples. First, all students in a class. Second, months of a year. Third, brave people. Fourth, collection of numbers 2, 4, 6, 8. Here example 1, 2 and 4 are sets. But 3 is not a set. Because all students you can give the count. Months of a year it is also fixed. Collection of numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, again you can give me the count. But the brave people, the third example, it again depends on the bravery of the person in that situation. The important things which you have to note down while writing the set. Every set is represented by a capital letter. Every member of a set is called an element. They are denoted using small letters. If A is an element of set A, then we write this as A belongs to A and read as A is an element of set A, A is a member of set A. Every set is denoted inside curly brackets. Here the new thing to you is belongs to symbol which looks like our English alphabet capital letter E. There are two ways of writing a set. First, roster form or listing method. Second, set builder form or rule method. First, roster or listing method. The set is described by listing all its elements in curly brackets. Elements are separated by commas. Each element is written only once. The order in which the elements are listed is not important. Let's see one example to make it more clear. The set of digits in number 7777. Seven, seven, seven. Here as the rule already told that it should be written only once and it should be separated by commas and inside the curly brackets. So I have written set A is equal to inside the curly bracket 7 only one time. Second, the set of all whole numbers that is B is equal to inside curly bracket 0, 1, 2, 3 dot 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 curly bracket close. Here you can see dot 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 used to show the continuation because whole numbers are in infinite in numbers. The second method is set builder form are also called as rule method. In this method, the set specifies the property which determines the elements of the set uniquely. The first example, the set of prime numbers from 1 to 20. In a roster form which we have already learnt, I have written A is equal to 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. All the prime numbers between 1 to 20. But just see how I have written in a set builder form that is A is equal to insert the curly bracket X forward slash X is a prime number less than 20. You cannot read it as a forward slash. We read it as a is the set of all x such that x is a prime number less than 20. Let's take down this note. Equal means is symbol. 
curly bracket means set of forward slash means such that e means belongs to comma means and let's proceed with the revision part thank you